Okay, here's this week's Watercolor Wednesday. I'm not sure, quite sure I caught all of this on the tape. I'll have to review it as I'm editing. So if I didn't catch all of it, I'm not sure what happened. I must have hit the button by mistake. I think I caught most of it though. I used a white crayon as a resist to um, intentionally leave some white space and some texture around the owl's face. I did it on both the um, journal watercolor journal page and on the accompanying ATC card, which I didn't film. Um, I did do an ATC card that matches, and it will be in my Etsy shop for sale. Hopefully, by the time you see this, it'll be posted. And I, anyway, I used the white. It's just a white Crayola crayon. Oh, well, maybe it's not Crayola. Let's see. It just says white crayon. I don't even know that it's Crayola. It's just a white crayon. Um, but the wax and the crayon resists the watercolor paint and it'll keep the paper white. Um, so that's a tip and a trick of something you can try with your watercolor paints. Anyway, I really like the way this owl turned out. I liked it when I did it on the Rolodex card for the 30 and 30 challenge. And I definitely like it in the journal too. So there you go. Another uh, piece inspired by Jean Haynes. I'm really loving uh, reading her books and learning from her. She's got a really great process. Uh, anyway, I hope you got some ideas of what you can do and what you can try. Think about getting one of her books or borrowing it from the library. I think you'd really enjoy it. Don't forget to go out and have a great day, everybody, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.